hello everyone so welcome in the new video in this video we will going to see how to interface lcd with stm32 bit microcontroller so lcd is a device display device it's a liquid crystal display device and here you can see we are using 16 cross 2 lcd it means that in this lcd two rows are there and 16 columns are there so at a time you can display up to 32 characters here in this LCD, you can see we have 8 data pins, 3 control pins and 3 power supply pins. Since we are using Proteus simulator, so we will not connect this power supply pin. However, if you are using hardware, then you have to provide power supply and ground. Here you can see I am using STM32F103C6 part number and i am using port a okay to connect this lcd with our microcontroller here you can see three control pins rs rw and enables are connected with pa1 pa2 pa3 and out of eight data pins here you can see four data pins are connected with pa4 pa5 pa6 and pa7 so from the connection you can see that we are using 4 bit lcd so basically in lcd two modes are there you can use 8 bit lcd or 4 bit so in 4 bit you can see connections are less compared to 8 bit because in 8 bit you have to use all the 8 pins but in case of 4 bit lcd you have to write complex code because the command size of the lcd is 8 bit so you have to mask 4 bit then send 4 bit on this 4 data pin then again mask other 4 bit and then send message like that so you have to basically divide your message into 4 4 bit and you have to send one by one in this 4 data pins so this is what the connection is and from this connection you can see that we have to configure port A, PA1 to PA7 as output so without wasting time just open stm32 cube ide so i will write this uh, our part number right so this is our part number 103 cc so now build a new project so here i, I will give the project name stage 2 lcd it's my project name click on the finish so it will create a new project So in this uh, we will use these two files okay so let me explain you what these files are so first file is c file and second is h file h is the header file the uh, application file you can say right and in this c file you can see okay uh, here you know connections are there right so here you can see based on our circuit right here you can see L, the, uh, LCD pins are defined. So L pin GPIO pin one of the port A is connected with RS pin. So here we are simply defined those pins. Okay. So in the code in the uh, later part we will use this RS pin, RW pin, enable pin instead of this uh, GPIO pin number. Right. Now in this C file you can see different functions are there. Delay function is there send to lcd function is there send else uh, lcd send command function is there lcd send data function is there clear function is there put cursor function is there init function is there so basically in lcd two parts are there first of all you have to initialize the lcd by writing some commands on this so here you can see lcd init function uh, is doing the same thing so here we are uh, sending different commands 02, 28, 08, 01. So these are the standard command. You can search on the internet LCD commands and you will find these commands and description. So here you can see we are sending these commands using this function LCD send command. Now LCD send command is uh, you can see defined over here. So LCD send command function will simply take the command as an argument as i told you earlier since we are working in 4 bit mode so this command function 
will mask first uh, uh, least significant for bit then it will send the upper nibble first in this function lcd send to lcd okay and here you can see two arguments are there first argument is our for mask bit means uh, upper nibble right and second argument is zero and why this zero is there because this is command okay so now let me explain you this lcd send to lcd function so in send to lcd two arguments are there first is our for bit second is zero so send to lcd a, a, is this function you can see and second argument is actually for rs pin so rs pin is a control pin and if rs is equal to one then whatever data you will write on this data pin it will consider as a data and if rs is equal to zero then whatever uh, value we will write on this data pin it will consider as a command and since we are writing command so that's why you can see our second argument is zero so on rs pin zero will be there so during initialization part whatever value we will write it will consider as a command so for initialization purpose and these four lines will write our four bit on our four data pins which are d4 d5 d6 d7 and after writing this you can see we have enable high delay enable low delay so enable is a control pin and you have to generate this type of pulse after uh, writing value on the data pin okay so this is what the lcd command function is and in initialization we are using this function multiple time now if i want to write a data then we have this function lcd send data here you can see we have one argument data so whatever value you will write whatever characters for example if you will write capital a so here it will consider as ascii value of the a then it will simply apply this masking operation so first of all it will mask uh, lsb and it will simply send higher nibble to this function lcd to send to lcd and here you can see second argument is one so second argument one indicates that this is the data right so here you can see in send data function second argument is one send command function second argument is zero so again it will simply send higher nibble first then it will send lower nibble using the same function lcd send to lcd and in send to lcd as i, I, I already explained you that it will simply write the value on these four pins okay so this is the send data function then lcd clear so lcd clear function simply write the 0 1 command using lcd send command and 0 1 is a command to clear the display so by simply calling this function you can have the clear lcd right then this function put cursor so put cursor will basically indicate that from that which particular location you want to display your message okay so as i told you earlier that this is 16 cross 2 lcd so two rows are there 16 columns are there so here you can write two argument first is the row and second is the column so if you will write zero then it will consider as a first row if you will write one then it will consider as a second row so now if you will write zero then it will simply uh, consider eight zero and if you will write one then it will consider c zero so again you can check this 80 and c0 are the command for lcd so 80 indicates that your message will be there on first line c0 indicates that your message will be there on second line and column so whatever value you will write it will be added using this logical or operator with this so if you will write column is equal to 5 so it will consider 85 okay and 85 means 8 means first row and 5 means fifth column okay if you will write c5 then c means second row and 5 means fifth column so it will indicate that from which particular location your message will be start right and finally we have this function lcd send string so in lcd dot string lcd uh, send string you can pass whole string right so if you will pass hello world so it will send your hello world message character by character using this send data function up to the end of the string and again send data is the function using which uh, your message your data will be written on the lcd by using by doing this operation of 
asking so this is the code so now without wasting time let us uh, provide the clock now in this pin out function you have to set pa1 to pa7 as output right so you have to configure this so this is uh, based on our connections okay and now you have to simply generate the code then source you will find your code right now i have two files so i have to add them so first of all you have to right click on source new and you have to create source file here you have to give lcd name and extension should be dot c click on finish same way you have to create another file this time you have to create header file you have to give name lcd and extension dot h now this is the c file so you have to copy the content of this c file okay into the created c file right same way in header file you have to copy this functions right so here you can see different functions are there so you have to simply copy this into this header file and final step is in main file you have to include this so in user code you have to include our header file which is lcd dot h okay so now i can access i can use all these functions so first of all we have to initialize the lcd so simply you have to call this function so after gpio init i will simply call this function lcd init so it will initialize the lcd by writing different commands then we will use this put cursor function because i want to display some message and i want a message from first line first row and first column so that's why i'm writing 00 and finally for writing message i will use this function lcd send string and in argument i will send hello world message right so this is the code now first of all debug this here you can see zero error zero warning so now you have to release this. and since we are using proteus or even in hardware also you have to use hex file so hex file is required so you have to uh, go in project property in this setting of c++ build in post build option you have to select this option convert hex file apply and close and now again you have to release the target and this time you can see in release folder hex file will be there right here you can see hex file so now i will simply copy the path of the release and i will simply load my created hex file okay so now in the circuit simply click on this and now here you can see time updated hex file is there okay and now run it so here you can see the message now add one more message so this time i will set my cursor's position on second row and uh, fifth column okay and now i will send another message i will change my first message to hardware coding and i will send my message second message as thanks 
thanks right and now i will simply release so it will update the hex file so you can see i am sending two messages on my lcd and now let us run it so you can see first message is hardware coding the channel's name and second message is thanks on second line so same way you can use others functions also from this lcd.c so you can find both this lcd.c and lcd.h file in the description of this video and you can use and play with these functions and this is how you can interface lcd and you can display messages on lcd so this is what for the today's video if you like my work then please like my videos and please subscribe my youtube channel thanks a lot